so I got to talk about my favorite player in the NFL. My favorite, favorite player in the NFL, Kenny Moore the third, number 23, the greatest inside nickel cornerback in the history of the NFL. And I'm proud to tell you and show you all his story right now. All right. So if you all are watching this on IG, you all go ahead and hit that link, man. Hit this link up there on top right now to get the full breakdown. And if you're watching this on YouTube, just stay put, y'all. Stay put on YouTube. You ain't got to do nothing, but just stay put and we'll get right to the story of my favorite, favorite player in the whole entire NFL. So what makes this dude the best inside corner in the whole entire NFL, the best nickel? To be a nickel cornerback, first of all, you got to be like a geometry teacher. Meaning, you got to know about shapes and angles and stuff, man. You got to know about shapes and angles. And most likely, if you're a nickel cornerback, that means you're one of the smallest players on the field, actively playing on the field uh, um, in down-to-down basis. So that means not only are you small, but you got to be extremely tough to survive that nickel position. And this is one of the abilities of Kenny Moore, the third right here. He's pound for pound, one of the toughest son of a gun in the whole entire NFL. And he's been my favorite player in the whole league for the, for the last five years for the last half de decade this is part of being a nickel right here see what i'm talking about shapes and having the ability of being tough right there you got to tackle big tight ends like this in open space right here man this is what i'm talking about being a geometry specialist a geometry teacher right there you got to know ap geometry man because this dude if there's a hall of famer look at that impressive this dude is one of the smallest dude on the field he's taking on big ass tight end big ass tight end in space and he's one of the best tackler in all of this league bro one of the best tackler in the whole entire league let me emphasize that all right so look at this once again about time and space open field tackling look at this dude though i keep telling y'all bro i keep telling look at him look at him right here man you know what i'm saying wakanda right here black panther man put the fucking pound up right there man Put the fist in the air, man, like you straight up Black Panther right now, man. Like he's uh, he's running a revolution. Yeah, yeah, Kirk Franken. You want a revolution? Yeah, yeah. You want a revolution? Yeah, yeah. Kenny Moore, dog. Look at this, right? Here. Coming off the blocks right now. And look how he just break down, break down, and get his head around. This is form tackling right there, shawty. Like this is football 101 right there. If you ever play football and they ever teach you how to tackle, this is it right there. Teaching tape. Tackle, get your head around and shoulder, and boom, wrap up. Wrap up and I put your Wakanda, Black Power up there, man. Black Power, Black Panther, Wakanda style, shawty. The greatest nickel cornerback in the history of the NFL. Look at this guy. Come on, man. The greatest nickel cornerback in the history of the NFL. Kenny Moore, the fucking third. My favorite player in the last half decade, man. He's number 23. Watch him in space. His tackling ability, if you're doing a Madden rating, his tackling ability is 100. It's a hundred, man. A hundred. He never missed tackle. Him and Bobby Wagner never missed a tackle in the history of their life. Ever. Ever missed a tackle right there. Boom. Look at that. He's like, I got kids, man. You know what I'm saying? He never missed a kid's function. Kenny Moore III never missed a kid function right here, man. And right now, it's a function. He's like, I got to go to, boom. I got to go to a function. Tackle 23, man. I'm telling you, man. Like, you don't understand, man. Like, when I get emotional, I'm not emotional, I'm not an emotional guy. You know what I'm saying? I'm an excited guy. But when I watch this guy play, man, I get emotional, man, because I love him. Pause. Like I really love this guy. Pause. You know what I'm saying? Pause. Because everything this guy does, dog, it's like I just I'm just at all. Oh, look at that defensive play right there, man. Look at number 23, man. Like, come on, bro. What I mean, you got to be an angling specialist, right? You got to be a special, be a nickel cornerback. And this dude is a Hall of Fame nickel cornerback talent. And look at his coverage ability. You have to be able to cover multiple people at the same time. Look, right now, he's covering this guy. He's looking at the flats right now, and he's looking at the curl. Look at how this dude just worked in way, staring at the quarterback eyes, how he worked from the flats to the curl. Like, this is, this, come on, man, y'all, this look easy, man. But you know how difficult this is? Because right now, the quarterback, he's like, look, right now, look at the equipment looking at, he's looking at Bryce Young. So Bryce Young got two options. This man right here is sticking two guys, the, the flats and the curl. Look at how patient he is. And look how he, this doing football awareness. 
His football awareness right now to be able to cover two guys. And I look at him break. Look at him break on the ball as the ball was thrown, man, right there. Bro, that's such a high level, bro. You don't understand, bro. Like, not too many people on this planet Earth could do what this man does. His football awareness right there. Look at that. His football IQ, his football acumen, and his playmaking ability, man. Like, I love this dude. This is my favorite fucking football player in the whole entire NFL for the last half decade, Charlie. For the last half decade. Let me show you all this again, bro. This right here, man. This Let me show you this house, this house call. This house call. Look at it once again. Look, he's like, all right, I see the flat, a flat defender, right? He see the flat defender right now, dog. Boom, one on one with the flat defender. Look at, hey, dog. You can't cover anything better than this, dog. Like, honest to goodness, dog. You cannot cover anything better than this, dog. No bullshit. You know what I'm saying? This dude covered a fucking place like the way the the solar eclipse covered the Earth, man. You know what I'm saying? You know when it's a solo eclipse and he covered the whole fucking earth, man? That's what this is, man. He covered this man like one of those uh, one of those heavy-ass blankets in the winter time uh, when you're in bed. You know what I'm saying? You know when you cover yourself because it's the winter time, it's cuddling season, and you cover yourself right now with that fucking big-ass blanket? Boom! That's what he just did in this play, bro. I love this dude. Pause. Like, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. Like, I, if I was ever gonna be in the NFL, bro... You know what I'm saying? If I ever had opportunity, I wish I could have the same mobility as Kenny Moore the third. Like, I want to have this dude ability, this dude agility, this dude's football acumen. This dude is a flat out football fucking player, dawg. Like, only people that nerds that watch game like me, the only the football nerds know this dude's ability. There he is right here, no man, number 23, my favorite player in the whole entire NFL, dog. The greatest nickel cornerback that ever suited up in the NFL. One on one against the, um, the running back. Look at the running back trying to give him an inside out move, bro. Look at this, the running back in the flat. He's giving the inside. You know why he didn't fall for this? Because he knew he has help here. He has help here. Football awareness, dog. Number 23 has football acumen, football intelligence. Everything you could ask for for a football player. And now look at him break right now. Look at him break. And look at this shit. Just boom, get in the pass and then get the pick and all of that. Now take that shit to the house. Slip and slide wreck the trick daddy, baby. Take that shit to the house. And now let the fans know. Let the fans know, man. Put the kids to bed. Kiss the fucking wife. And now go do what a man's supposed to do, baby. Go do what a man's supposed to do. Once again, look at this dude right here, dog. Look at this shit. Look, you trying to run a screen on the smartest player on football. This dude is one of the smartest players in the history of the NFL. And you think he can't read a screen? You know what I'm saying? This dude been reading since he was two years old, dog. This dude has been reading novels. Novels since he was two years old, man. He was reading Edgar Allan Poe, you know what I'm saying, since he was fucking two years old, dog. This dude was reading Roots from Alex Haley since he was fucking three years old. This dude was reading novels, paperback, and you think he came with a fucking screen? Are you fucking kidding me? You fucking kidding me? Look at this dude, he's like, oh, this shit look funny. This shit look like a screenplay. And look how he just jumped on it because he saw this screen, dog. He saw the fucking screen and go make a play. Boom. Oh, my goodness. That. Dog, this is the smartest football player. I'm telling you. If there's a Hall of Fame slug cornerback, a Hall of Fame nickel cornerback, this dude is the first ballot, first ballot Hall of Famer, brah. First ballot. My favorite fucking football player in the last half decade, dog. Five for pound. The number one best defensive player in the league. Number one defensive player in the fucking league, man. And I'm just putting it on, man, because you all don't know. This is what I, this is my duty and my job as the G to the U to the R to the U is to put you all on, especially when it's greatness. Because a lot of people don't see 23, man. A lot of people don't recognize the greatest corner, nickel cornerback in the history of the NFL, but I'm here to put him on, man. You all know who this is, man. I'm the G to the U to the R to the U. Man, this was a fucking amazing clip I showed y'all. Man, y'all better go ahead. You know what, man? Y'all got to pay me for this shit because I put y'all on game. Man, if I don't get a, some cash app, if I don't get some Venmo, if I don't get some PayPal on this shit, dog, because I straight cooked this motherfucker, man. Y'all look at my description, man. I'm going to put my payment schedule on there, man. I'm going to put my payment, man, because y'all got to pay me for this fucking breakdown, bro. Y'all finna pay me for this breakdown, man. Y'all check the description right here, man. Because I deserve that bread. Because I just straight killed this motherfucker right now, dog. Straight up, man. 
Call me C Murder. I just straight kill this motherfucker, man. Y'all go ahead and subscribe to the channel, man. Like this, share this, and let the whole world know Kenny Moore the third is the greatest nickel cornerback in the history of this motherfucking league. And I am out. Sorry for the cussing. I was just excited.